wanted to, we'll talk about going to uh, the first outdoor meet of the year and then heading to the southwest part of the country, uh, west coast, whatever, but um, I'm sure your team's pretty excited and the opportunity to see what you can do outdoors. Yeah, we're really excited. Um, it's the first time we've tried this with the whole group, whole team, or pretty much everybody. Um, but if we uh, leave next week, Wednesday, and we head to San Diego area, and we'll do uh, one meet on Friday at the University of Redlands, and then on Saturday we'll do uh, a meet at Point Loma Nazarene University uh, right there in San Diego. Um, so we're looking forward to some nice weather and, and some different competition and, and uh, uh, just getting out and stretching our legs on a bigger area versus indoor. What are your performance expectations really for this weekend, Coach, when you have your whole group going and just a couple new environments, like you said? Um, well, uh, expectations are still just the same. You know, hopefully, I think everybody's been doing really well since indoor conference, and and uh, uh, we're pretty healthy overall. Um, so just getting out, uh, being real positive, and, and taking advantage of it. Our case, we've got to make sure we're well hydrated and uh, not staying in the sun too much during the days of competition, uh, because uh, you know, anytime you're outside in the sun for the first time when it's really warm, it kind of really zaps you. So, uh, expectation, the biggest thing is is uh, people being intelligent and smart and taking care of themselves when we get there, and realizing why the trip is what the priority of the trip is is the competition and being prepared to do well. Uh, versus just a big uh, vacation. Is any, could that shock level, I guess, going from going to indoor to outdoor in a warm environment, like you said, could that be any less this year, considering, I mean, it's been super nice here in Minot? Oh, I know. This uh, this past week, this uh, two weeks, and, and looking forward to before we leave next week, uh, it's been great. Um, you know, we'll be over at the high school now here in a little while for practices, and, and it's nice to get the kids out and being able to really stretch their legs out and get onto a an outdoor track. So uh, hopefully that'll help us, but it's different type of heat and different type of weather down there. So it, it's still probably going to be a little bit of a shock to what we're used to here. How about competition? Um, what kind of teams will you run into out there? Well, um, right now, I think at the University of Redlands, um, there's, they're a Division three school. Um, a few other Division three schools, I think some junior colleges maybe in that area. Um, just kind of overall a, a, not a huge meet, I guess. Um, but, uh, you know, a nice size and, and just some good competition in terms of uh, difference in competition. The actual level, looking back over the results the previous years, it, it kind of mixes. You know, one year maybe really good competition next year or fast times marks and next year maybe some events are a little weak so I'm you know we'll kind of know when we get there uh, University of Redlands has usually been a strong division three school um, so I think that'll be you know they've got a good tradition there Saturday at Point Loma being there in San Diego um, they've got uh, I think they listed sent out an email that there's about 12 schools uh, several junior colleges, uh, uh, D, D3, D2, uh, NAI, um, but there may be more. Um, just from being spring break, uh, also being an Olympic year, I know a couple years ago, um, Redlands had the whole Japanese team uh, during the Olympic year come and compete at their meet, so it's hard to say. <laughs> um, but it, it's, there's several schools like us. I think there's, uh, Minnesota's got a couple D3 schools coming out there for spring break and competing at Point Loma. Um, I think Point Loma even has, uh, I think it's the Naval Academy and another school from back east. So uh, it'll be a nice uh, variety. You know, we were just talking with the baseball team coach. They're getting ready to go to Arizona. And as nice as it's been, they've had more outdoor reps than usual to, for the start of their season. I'm just wondering, do you feel like sort of the same way you're getting, like, whether it's more reps, just better quality preparation for the start of your outdoor season? Oh, definitely, because one, we've been able to be outside, out on the turf or up on the practice field. Um, so anytime we can be outside and not doing tighter turns inside, it's definitely going to help you out. And, uh, uh, you know, we've got 
five, six practices we can still get it in here before we leave. And, you know, between Minot High, uh, Eric Ramstead, and just even here uh, with our turf or practice field or, or uh, Hogan, Jim Hogan's or uh, Bishop Ryan's track, the cinder track, it's helping all of us just stretch our legs out and get going and, and uh, uh, getting in some good work. Do you feel your team uh, will get uh, how they'll adjust to being on a big track, you know, um, and then also some of your throwers by throwing some, some new events? Uh, oh, yeah. How's that going to be? I, I think it's going to be good. I think everybody's excited for it. Um, you know, I know the throwers will because they'll get to do the hammer, the discus, and the javelin, and they've really been itching to do do those things or do more than what they've been uh, able to. Um, I know pole vault uh, are looking forward to it because, you know, get outside, and then you know, hopefully if it's set up for a tailwind, a little bit of a tailwind, that always helps out. Um, I, I think everybody's just excited to get out and, and uh, kind of feel the elements uh, on a bigger area, in a bigger area.